Guys, welcome to our Google Classroom. Ang ating subject ngayon ay Graphics 2, that's Architectural Shades and Shadows. My name is Leo Litim, your instructor. Hello guys, our subject for today is about Architectural Graphics 2. This is all about shade and shadows. Alright, hang on for more activities coming up after every videos i will post questions at the end and activities to do every uh videos that i present to you all right so all you have to do also is subscribe my channel the art lover millennial channel for more updates on our activities for this uh, graphics 2 subject for architecture okay so this is some reference you should read these books for architectural graphics too for multi drawing or multi view drawings these are the references number one Ching Francis DK Jefferies Allen architectural drafting and design and also Wallach Paul Ross fundamentals of modern drafting all right so what is architectural graphics our subject matter on this subject is all about shade and shadows we are focusing more on the effect of light on an object on how light cast shadows on an object and what form it defines well shade and shadows refer to technique of determining areas in shade and casting shadows on surfaces by means of projection drawing the light source for architectural shade and shadows is assumed to be the sun and the sun angle is direction of the sun rays measured in terms of either bearing or azimuth or altitude bearing is a horizontal angular direction expressed in degrees east or west of a standard north or south direction. The azimuth is a horizontal angular distances measured clockwise of a bearing from due north. And altitude is a angular elevation of the sun above the horizon. Okay, so kung tayo ay gagamit ng shade and shadows rendering, ating i-assume na meron tayong 45 degrees yan ang pinaka magandang degree of casting shadow para magkaroon tayo ng shadow ay mag-project tayo ng 45 degrees line sa object halimbawa dito sa cube so dito makikita nyo kung paano lagyan ng shadow ang cube shade refers to dark area on parts of a solid that are turned away from light source. Shadows are the dark figures cast upon a surface by a part of the body intercepting the rays from theoretical light source. A shade line or casting edges separate an illuminated surface from one shade. A shadow line is a shadow cast by shade line on a receiving. A shadow plane is a plane of light rays that passes through every part of an object and light must cast a shadow just remember if there is no light there is no shadow a shadow can never be cast on the surface in shade nor can it exist within another shadow shade and shadows still this is uh, shade and shadows of multi-view drawing 
Okay, ang ating pinaka the best example of a, a shape is the sphere. Meron tayong tatlong geometrical shape na kalimitang ginagamit sa architecture. Yun ang the pyramid or the triangle, the rectangle, or pwede rin the sphere or the cube and then the sphere or the circle. Okay. The process of determining the shape of the cast shadow begins with drawing a 45 degrees light ray through a point along the casting edge in the both views. The edge view of the receiving surface, the ray, is extended until it intersects the receiving surface. We project this intersection to the rela related view. The intersection of this transferred line with the ray in the adjacent view marks the shadow of the point. Here are some illustrations of how the shadow casted in 45 degrees angle. Ang shade and shadows ay napakahalaga sa architect architectural design kasi ang shades and shadows will define form. Even though ang pintura nyo sa inyong building ay iisang kulay lamang, kahit yan ay monotone, pag meron na yung shade and shadow, ay magkaroon siya ng maraming tones. Tulad ng shadow ay much darker than shade, and shade is lighter than shadow. Kaya sa shade and shadow ay meron na, meron na tayong dalawang tones, or the shade of gray. Okay, sana ay naintindihan nyo. The shadow of a plane figure on a parallel plane is identical in size and shape to the figure. The shadow cast by a solid is bound by the shadow of the shade lines of the object. It is usually best to begin by determining the shadows of significant points in the form such as the end points of straight lines and the tangent points of the curves. Shadows of parallel lines are parallel when they fall on the same plane or on parallel planes. The orthographic projections of the straight line perpendicular to the plane of a projection is a point. The shadow of the line will appear to the straight regardless of the shape of the surface receiving the shadow. Here are another illustration of the effect of the shadows on the cylinders. Another uses of shade and shadows is to give importance or classification to your drawings. Example dito, ito ay site plan or plan. Dito ay madetermine natin na kahoy at merong kiosk at merong texture ng lupa dahil sa shade or tones or the shade and shadows. Kaya napakahalaga ng shade and shadows para sa pag-communicate natin ng ating drawings. Example, yung ating architectural plan, yung top view or even the elevation kung lalagyan niya ng shadow ay magmukha na itong 3D at lalo itong maintindihan ng tumitingin. Okay, at para sa inyong references, you can check Ching Francis D.K. Architectural Graphics, 6th edition, John Wiley and Sons, Incorporated, Hoboken, New Jersey, Jefferies Allen Architectural Drafting and Design, 6th edition, Delmar Cangades Learning 2011 and Wallach Paul Rose Fundamentals of Modern Drafting 2nd edition Delmar Cangades Learning USA Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood guys at inyong susunda ng ating 
update sa ating klase for our second lesson by next week. At sa ngayon ay meron akong ibibigay sa inyo na konting homework activity for our graphics 2, The Shade and Shadows. <clears throat> Alright guys, itong ating first activity Ito yung ating unang gawin Para lalong mas maintindihan nyo At meron kayong exercises on how to create shade and shadow On a on, on different surface of an object Yung marunong tayong maglagay ng shadow and shades sa iba't ibang klaseng surface, surfaces or shapes or forms. Gaya nito, marunong kayo maglagay ng shadow sa tao, marunong kayo sa cube, sa rectangle, using a source of light na i-project nyo sa bawat object. Tulad dito sa bula. Ayan. Dito sa puste. Kaya ganyan guys, mahaba yung shadow ng poste kasi yan ay nakaproject galing sa one source of light. At yan ay para na rin yan na theory of perspective. Okay, so ito ang lahat na gawin nyo as exercises para marunong kayong magdrawing ng shade and shadow. Ito, ito sana ang ang totoo na activity nito ay wala sanang shadow yan. Lagyan nyo na lang ng shadow using uh, light source, one light source or 45 degrees method of projecting the angle of the shades and the shadows. Kaya lang, hindi kasi tayo magkaintindihan ngayon kasi nasa online tayo at hindi nyo ako nakikita ng personal kaya ganito na lang gawin natin nandyan na ang shadow nandyan na kung paano gawin yan i-drawing nyo na lang yan sa band paper it can be short or long pwede na yan as long as you completed meron tayong apat na drawing sa first activity na ito yan ay apat you can use pencil yung soft para darker ang effect Okay, at i-compile nyo yan lahat kasi monthly ay ating kulilik, kuliktahin yan at isubmit nyo dito sa ating school. Alright? Okay, so yan ang unang page. Ito ang unang drawing nyo. First sheet. Ito naman yung pangalawa. Ito yung number two sheet. Pahirap ng pahirap. At ito naman ang number three. Okay, at ito yung ating number 4. Huwag lang kayong masyadong uh, excited guys about our activities. Kasi pag ako'y magbigay ng activities ay papawisan talaga kayo. Kaya hayaan nyo na lang yung mga mahilig sa live uh, videos nag wifi challenge naman. Salita ng salita. Pero uploading naman yung kanyang signal. Kaya hindi magkaintindihan. Kaya ito ang pinakamagandang um, medium sa ating discussion using the YT or YouTube. At may bahagi ko sa inyo ang magandang pag-depart ng knowledge or pagtuturo. Through clear at walang uh, Wi-Fi challenge discussion. Di ba yan ang, ang dilema ngayon? Yan ang problema ng mga estudyante at teacher kasi nagsalita ang teacher, hindi kayo nakikinig. Ngayon dito sa akin ay you have free time, you can choose your your uh, ample time kung saan na time kayo pwedeng magbukas ng YouTube channel ko at doon nyo titingnan or para updated kayo ay subscribe, like, and make comment. Ang comment nyo ay yan ay nagsiserve na attendance nyo kasi pag nag-comment kayo sa video sa first lesson natin, meaning nanonood kayo sa video at nag 
mag-answer kayo sa ating activity. Alright, so I'll see you on my next video for lesson 2. Thank you so much.